Jessica and welcome to Explorations Place. We are currently in creator space and we're going to talk today a little bit about how rain develops. Now believe it or not, all storms actually start from beneath your feet. If you look at the things that might be floating within the air, you might see things like our sand here. You might also see things like our dirt. You might even see dust or pollen all floating around. However, I want you to picture that it's a hot summer day in Kansas and a strong breeze comes across. What do you think might happen to my sand or my soil if that breeze starts to push on it? It's gonna start moving. In fact, it might even blow high up into the atmosphere, but these particles that are in the atmosphere, they don't just go up and then fall down. They bounce off of each other and they gain height. So I brought with me some ping pong balls that you might see here. They're gonna act as our dust particles and I put them into a graduated cylinder. Watch the very top one and see if you can see that it will gain height as I shake it. Do you see how it moves higher than some of the other ones? That's because it is bouncing off of each of the individual particles. And once it gets high enough, there's this funny little thing called water vapor and it likes to grab onto everything. So I'm gonna again use one of my dust particle ping pong balls because this is going to act as what we call the condensation nucleus. So this is going to be what our water vapor likes to stick to. And you can try this at home as well. So if we take my Play-Doh here, or my water vapor, I'm gonna flatten it out, place my condensation nucleus or my dust particle in the middle, wrap it all the way around. Do you see how it takes over the entire shape? This is a big raindrop. Now, as more and more of these collect in our atmosphere, they get heavy. And the heavier that they get, the more you'll see clouds. In fact, you may even see some storms. So let's take a look to see how exactly the weight of these raindrops plays effect in how storms develop. So we talked a little bit about those water vapors sticking to our condensation nucleus. I'm gonna use these marbles here to represent our raindrops. And what you'll see with my tissue paper is this is our cloud that's already started to form. What do you think is going to happen when I add all of my marbles to our cloud? Do you think it can handle it? Let's find out. <laughs> I made a mess. Thanks so much, Ivy, for helping me out with that experiment. And I'd like to go ahead and suggest that you try this at home as well. See if you can find a ping pong ball or a golf ball and some Play-Doh and make your own giant raindrop. And next time that it rains, look the very next day and see if you can see some areas where it might have dried and evaporated and you'll see a ring around those raindrops. That's actually the condensation nucleus. Those are those pieces of debris or dust or soil that have been left behind after the water evaporates back into our atmosphere. Thanks again for joining us today on our wonderful science video and I hope you stay tuned for even more to come. Bye!